Well, it may not feel like it outside, but fall is here, and with the new season comes new dangers for our pets. Here to tell us more is Dr. Janice Price from Windmill Animal Hospital. Thank you for joining us today and taking time My out of your pleasure. busy day. All right, so you've probably already been busy with rattlesnake bites. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and people may think it's just the summer, but you're saying right now is even more prevalent. Well, I've had two of my own personal dogs hit by rattlesnakes. Both got hit in early September, <laughs> two years apart. But we always see an uptick in rattlesnake bite this time of year. I speculate because the rattlesnakes are starting to think about hibernation. I don't know. I'm not an herpetologist, but we do see more dogs hit with, by rattlesnakes this time of year. And let's talk about some options for people um, to keep their pets safe from those kind of bites. Well, uh, make sure your dogs are vaccinated if they're at risk of being hit. And it, they're at risk of being hit if they get to go out in brushy areas, rocky areas, areas that are not groomed grass where you can see everywhere and can tell if there's a snake there or not. And uh, carry Benadryl, and that way if your dog gets hit, give them Benadryl a milligram per pound immediately and get them to a veterinary care center as soon as you can. And let's talk about the price for people who, you know, if it's their, your dog isn't vaccinated, they get hit and they have to bring them into you and have to have all that um, the, the care done. Well, what's involved, and it's all dependent on how much venom the dog received, because you can have a dry strike where there's minimal swelling, and then you can have a dog hit where he gets a full load of venom, where it's an immediately life-threatening situation and every shade in between. But I ran some numbers a while back, and the average cost of treating a rattlesnake strike is anywhere from $750 to $2,000. Wow. Yeah. And it, the dogs that are vaccinated tend to be a lot cheaper to treat mm -hmm. because the vaccine creates antibodies, so they're running around basically with a bottle of antivenin in their bloodstream all the time. So that can go to work when they get hit. But it's very unpredictable. Uh, some dogs get a full load of venom and they die before they can ever get wow. to a veterinary care center. All right, and of course, other things coming up soon is Halloween. And with Halloween comes treats, candy, all kinds of goodies oh, yes. the dogs want to eat. Yes, and we want to give them and unknowingly we may kill our dog mm -hmm. or cat. No chocolate for dogs or cats ever. Raisins and grapes can cause kidney failure in dogs. We don't understand precisely why, but do not give raisins or grapes to dogs. And the reason Halloween can be a high risk time of year for that because we try to do a little bit less unhealthy candy than mm -hmm. we used to. And a lot of times little boxes of raisins will be handed out or chocolate covered raisins. Oh, great. Now we have a double dose of mm -hmm. toxicity for our dogs. And of course, xylitol, which is a sugar substitute. It causes hypoglycemia in dogs and will kill them very efficiently. And that's really in a lot of stuff, especially sugar-free things. Um, it's even in toothpaste. Yeah. That's crazy. You'd be, you'd be surprised what all it's in. So um, I guess what are some tips you have for people to kind of watch out for their pets to make sure they don't dump over that candy bowl? Well, put the c candy under lock and key. Uh, if it's children under the age of six who will be handling candy, don't let the pets hang out with them. Because mm -hmm. we can't expect a small child to keep careful control of his goodies yes. and the dog's going to snatch whatever mm -hmm. drops. Just be alert. Halloween night, put your dogs in their crates in your back bedroom, play some music, lock your cats up, especially your dark colored cats, and just be careful mm -hmm. and be aware. Especially if you're handing out candy too and people are coming to and from your door. Right, because your dogs and cats can get out and it's dark and now mm -hmm. they can get hit by a car. Yep, exactly. All right, well, we appreciate you coming on with some great advice Always glad to for be the here. fall season. I'm sure you got to get back to work. So if you want to contact Windmill Animal Hospital, they are located at 2 Windmill Circle in Abilene. They are open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 to 1. You can call them at 698-8387 or find them online at windmillvet.com or search for them on Facebook.